Hey guys and gals and YouTubers, welcome. It's your host Raven2012. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, adding a multiplayer mod to your current Kerbal Space Program game, uh, thus allowing you to play with other players and uh, swap ideas and screenshots or whatever. So uh, today I'm going to show you how, how and where to get the uh, mod and how to install it and where to get it. So uh, yeah, let's get started on that. So don't worry about the uh, links. I'm going to have them down in the description. So the first one you're going to need here is the dark dark multiplayer. Uh, whatever version that you're running, the current um, KSP, I mean, I, I know I'm recording for 1.02, but this uh, video might uh, be around for a few years and there might be a different uh, Kerbal Space program so basically just check the uh, current dark multiplayer at the time and see if it matches up with the, your current uh, Kerbal Space program uh, and once you get that um, go down to the release and development here and uh, you're gonna click on client package that's what you're gonna need uh, server package is if you're going to make a server and whatnot uh, but most of us are just want to get into the uh, client package and it's gonna download close this out here uh, we're not gonna worry about this yet I'll show you this in a second here <clears throat> so basically you got your uh, download here DMP client uh, it's either gonna be well it's basically a zip file you're gonna open it either with your WinWar uh, WinZip or 7-zip and for me with WinRoar, I just double click on it, it opens up and then you can get into here with the uh, uh, different folders. So I'm going to click on DMP client, game data, and this is the folder I want, dark multiplayer. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go over here to my game folder here. Uh, basically your guys' is probably going to be different. Uh, most of you guys are probably going to be running Steam version. I assume it's going to be in Steam Apps Common and probably KSP folder. Open that up. You should see the file archive similar to this. Uh, mine's different it's because I get mine from the uh, official website of Squad. And basically I download it as a zip file because I do multiple installs of the game for modded and uh, stock. So And I just put it on the desktop. So anyways just drag this open this up here you can either open it up or just drag it into the game data I'll open it up and just to show you that there's another folder in here this is based this is squads um, uh, folder for all our parts and stuff why not don't put the this folder in here put it in here with it so we're gonna drag dark multiplayer into this folder and then there she goes the mods already in there and that's all you gotta do to set it up <coughs> Uh, second thing we need to do is this uh, website here is basically uh, all the sites that run or all the servers that run uh, dark multiplayer so basically you gotta figure out which one you wanna to play in if it's closer to you and you see the different flags here German uh, Australia uh, British flag American so it depends on where you live uh, there's different game modes. Uh, these guys right here are sandbox. This little icon is career and this is science. And then it shows the current version of dark multiplayer. So if you just want to see all the uh, 0 0.22 which is what we're using. Double click. You just click on that and it orders all those guys up on top here. Uh, if you want to do something. Oh, let's organize these by... Um, if career mode or uh, science or sandbox and you can uh, get an idea of what you want to play <clears throat> so uh, all you need to do is let's see here we got this Canadian one this is one I'm already uh, have already logged in you just click here it'll give you some information on here uh, they're basically telling you we're running uh, pure vanilla game mode science uh, we actually, if you want to find career, there's not so many career modes. A lot of them are either uh, sandbox. Uh, actually, it looks like there is a lot of career mode. 
Normally, there's a lot of uh, sandbox and science mode, but apparently a lot of people are playing uh, career here. So we'll go down to the career because that's what we want to pick from Pixel Nation. And it doesn't really give you a lot of information here. Uh, it's all, this here tells you the server uptime. 53% uh, of the time the server's up. And this is the player. And this is the obviously the uh, name of the uh, their team. <clears throat> and this is your ping here. So you definitely want to find something uh, relatively... Uh, actually that's not your ping distance in uh, kilometers so the server is actually really close to us and that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to play this one and uh, to get server information go down here to this little joystick click on that and you're gonna need this information here so we'll shrink down this window here hopefully this will work or if not just write this down here copy it down and then copy this port number down here if not you can always shrink this down and we're gonna fire up KSP here and we'll see you in a second <laughs> alrighty now that the game's fired up you're gonna see this little window pop up here you can move it around if you need to uh, you're gonna have an option of player name here uh, put in your player name obviously the uh, mines raven 2012 um, and then here you're gonna have this is where you're gonna add your servers so you just click add uh, the name of the server you can name it whatever like the other one was a Canadian one you can name it Canadian or I think it was pixel uh, something uh, this is the address uh, that's the one you get from the website that I just showed you there it may be a number it may be a word or something and you put that in there and then the port and then basically you add the server and then once that's ready let me show you if I can show you this here. Let's go to edit and I'll show you that. This is what Pixel Nation looks like and this is the address here and that's the port number. And then you just click uh, add. <clears throat> and then you'll see it down here in the list here. Uh, I don't know what the options are for. I really don't use those. Uh, we'll go to Pixel Nation. We'll click on it until you get this highlighted connect and we'll basically connect. It should go through all this if it works fine. <coughs> and like I said, this server is stock only, so make sure you're running a stock only game. And now you're going to get uh, two windows here. Uh, one's obviously your dark multiplayer chat, and this is where you can chat with other players. Uh, this is sort of a debug menu here. Uh, you should be able to, if you want, it'll save all your craft files, basically all your um, builds you make in here. It should be under here. This is where you go and f uh, to um, load them. Um, I don't think you load them through here. Screenshots. This is pretty neat. <clears throat> you can take a screenshot upload it here and basically it'll save it on here and so all the other players can come and look and see what what kind of stuff you're doing or what kind where you're at and whatnot so it's pretty neat <clears throat> and this DMP will close out this window so if we jump into the uh, tracking station <clears throat> we should see everyone's craft out into the uh, solar systems we're going to see different people's uh, satellites and whatnot you can actually select them if you want <clears throat> I believe you I can take over and fly I'm yeah I believe you can take over and fly if you want um, so if some if if you need help doing something you don't know how to do the maneuver they can take over and do it <clears throat> but the if the player that owns this craft comes in um, he'll automatically uh, once he switches to this will automatically take over even though you're uh, messing around with it he has the he has the initial right to uh, uh, Re, uh, take over the craft because it's his creation so there's no conflict and interest in there so don't worry if you have a craft out there and 
somebody's messing around with it um, you can just jump in and uh, take it over and most of the time people don't mess around with your stuff anyways it community is really nice I, I don't think I ever had anybody mess around with it <clears throat> with your stuff and then you can jump to other craft here just double click it I guess I can't go back to space center <clears throat> So it's almost just like playing your regular game, but there's someone there you can chat with if they're online and ask them questions. You can also do your screenshots and whatnot, share ideas. Um, and if you're doing career mode, everyone's going to start off from the beginning. So some of these other players that have been in here already, their career mode is a little bit more advanced and whatnot. So uh, since we're starting out, our career modes from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> another good feature about multiplayer is say you have a craft out in the world and it got just in orbit but it ran out of fuel and you can't get back uh, say you have a docking port on there um, another player can come up dock with you give you fuel and on dock and you're pretty much uh, your ship is fueled up so there is interaction uh, with the multiplayer it's a little basic um, it's not quite the multiplayer that we think of but like I said uh, we can dock with other crafts so if somebody has a space station like I said uh, we can dock on a sp space station and give them supplies so it's pretty neat I mean For a multiplayer, it's not bad really. So, like right here, I could uh, dock with this person's space station. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. So, I would recommend if you guys uh, want to play a multiplayer, you feel a little alone in the game, definitely check out Dark Multiplayer. Uh, it's basically our only choice right now for multiplayer until uh, Squad implements it into the game itself, and which. They should be uh, working on pretty soon here. It should be in the f near future update of the game. So we're definitely going to see it. And we're definitely going to see how they uh, handle the multiplayer. If they go around this route or do something completely different. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out guys. It's a really pretty decent um, uh, multiplayer to play. Um, I'm possibly the reason why I'm making this visit, uh, video. I'm possibly going to be doing a vanilla let's play through career mode or science mode, and I want to do it on um, multiplayer. And that just in case if um, some of you guys want to see some of my stuff, if some of you guys want to come and play with me, so definitely give a little bit more interactions with. Uh, the viewers and myself so it'd be pretty neat to see what happens with that so all right guys that's it for the multiplayer so we'll see you next time guys bye bye